This Casual Friday is brought to you by Lynda.com. Took, took one of these spherical tails and just made a spiral of cocaine. Mm -hmm. and then just A literal mountain. Mountain. So we're going to E3 next week. What are you talking about? Um, this is going to be your first E3. Yeah, what is, what is that? No, don't. Elect electron. Is this the stand for we're something? going to the Electronic Entertainment Exposition. Is it? Oh, so it actually mm -hmm. stands for something. Exposition, yeah. yes. It, this is your first one. Are you nervous? Because I remember my first E3 was like horrible. I didn't eat the entire time. I would hide in the bathroom yeah. when I was scared. Oh man, that yeah. question makes me nervous. So. Yeah. In the bathroom. I am now. There's your answer. <laughs> um, no, I think it'll be fun. I, I, I'm still in that phase in my career if you can call yeah, it that, air quotes where are necessary. I'm not jaded about everything yet. I still like video games a lot, and I still get excited by- What are you trying to say about me? Not you. Not I mean, you. I'm pretty jaded in general. You're not jaded. No, you're not. You're as lovely as the day you were born. Oh, thank you. But uh, everyone else like in the video game industry hates video games, apparently, except for a small handful. And I feel like I'm yeah. still, like I'm still really excited. Yeah. yeah. I, the, the reality of the amount of work we're gonna have to do hasn't hit me yet. All I can think about it's like, man, there's some games I really I'm like. I'm actually a little bit uh, nervous. I'm, because of what's gonna be announced, like I'm I'm nervous that I'm gonna be disappointed. Interesting. Really? I'm, I'm excited, but I'm almost, um, yeah, more, I guess, I, I, I'm, I'm afraid to get excited because I hmm. don't wanna be disappointed. That's a terrible attitude to have. I know, it is. You, I mean, they always make, they always make some crazy announcement at, totally. at E3. Like, totally. there's something to be excited about for everyone. I guess I'm just like, I'm, I'm just so excited to finally see them, uh, like games announced that are like really truly pushing like the the gaming industry like forward in a way like that we haven't like thought about games or seen games Something before. Something built for this generation. Something built for, yeah, for this like next gen yeah. like system. I mean, yeah. And I'm, if I don't see that, I don't know. Might be I a little am sad. of two minds about that because on the one hand, there is, you're right, always one thing where you're like, that was so cool and blew me away and I wasn't expecting yeah. it. But the then door I remember closed in the division. The door closed in the division being the biggest moment in video game history. Yep. It could be, I hope that's the whole game. Door closed simulator 20, 2015. Yeah. Uh, but then I remember that like two years ago, the game that blew us all away that we weren't expecting was Watch Dogs. Mm -hmm. And then I played Watch Dogs and I realized that. Yeah. Like, but think I, of all the excitement you got out of it for I like did. that first two years. I know. And I'm wondering if I'm able to do that as heavily right now just because I have such a recent reminder of that games don't always yeah. live up to what you would want them to be. Well, um, what do you want to see there? Like, what uh, would make you happy? I would like to see a sequel to the video game Phantom Dust. That's what I would like okay. to see. I actually just uploaded a whole video to our channel, <laughs> yep. which is basically, someone in the comments compared it to like, you know how when people kind of go crazy in movies and they start like printing out pictures of things and tying them together with, with yarn and just like and sweating yeah. and drinking Red Bull. That's been me for yep. the past couple months, just piecing together the clues. That maybe years actually. And yeah, and maybe it's a little bit of uh, wishful thinking. Maybe I just want this game to exist so bad that I'm trying to will it into mm -hmm. being. But uh, sequel to Phantom Dust seems like the right time and the right place. Yeah. And that literally would be all I need. I would just, I wouldn't check anything else out E3. You'd have a lot more work because I'd be standing at that booth. That's fine. Trying to squeeze answers out of everyone. <laughs> what what's, what's your um, big like? Well, obviously my major wish list would be Fallout 4. I, there's like a 1% chance of that happening at yeah. best. I'm really excited to see Mirror's Edge 2, actually. Yeah, I've me been too. like, we heard about that a while ago, and there was like that was small like last E3, chance right? that it would be at last E3, but they just showed a trailer for mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Now, I'm really hoping that they're gonna let people at least go hands-on. I would love this that. This is a good example of where my anxiety kicks in, though, because I'm so, I'm so excited for, like, I love Mirror's Edge so much. It was mm -hmm. so cool. Um, and I'm afraid there's gonna have like it's gonna have tons of combat in it, and it's just gonna be really that's disappointing. The, that's the, well, I'm afraid they're gonna ruin it. Really? Yeah, because I'm so excited. I'm like, I, can it live up to like my expectations? I don't know. That's the that's the rub, right? Like on the one hand, the universal criticism of Mirror's Edge was that the shooting in it was dumb and bad, and there shouldn't have been guns. On the other yeah. hand, it is a game published by Electronic mm -hmm. Arts, and I. I'm not convinced that they can make a game without guns in it. I well, want them to. I mean, as long as there's not more than there was in the first one, I'll be yeah. happy. I they can have guns because like that's not the problem, right? But it's like if they lose the essence of what made it so so incredibly special, like that world and just running through the environment and the mm -hmm. fact that you couldn't just like, oh, I'm gonna spray people with bullets and then yeah. solve this problem well, I have. Yeah. It's dice again, so I trust that they're gonna nail the tone even if the, I think the director's not around or the writer changed mm -hmm. or something. 
Um, but the aesthetic is still there. The, as long the, as they nail the trailer. vibe, I'm happy. And you know what? They could. It'd be cool if they did a thing where, like, you know how in, in games like Watch Dogs and, and contemporary Splitter Cell games, you have the option of stealthing it or going in guns blazing. Mm. If they make it so you can use guns, but you don't have to. Guns or parkour or something. Yeah, then I'm happy. That That's all I need is just the option to make a game about running and make the running feel good That's this a time. reasonable <laughs> request for a parkour game. Yeah. So yours is Mirror's Edge, mine's Phantom Dust. No, and... mine was Mirror's Edge. I yeah, yeah, so... so wow. What's yours? It's in a perfect so world. The game I'm most excited about, um, aside from maybe the unannounced games that I, I don't really know how to be excited about, but uh, is The Division. Um, mm. That door closing was so impressive. It was, it represents, so this is why the door closes significant. It's supposed to be like a, like almost like, I guess, an open world, like MMO-like experience. Maybe yeah. it's kind of like people invade your wor world, maybe a little bit like Dark Souls or something. I'm not really sure how that works, but that door closing was such a, such a detail, like, and if they're paying attention to the closing of a door, like a, on a car, instead of my character just moving around the door, that's like represents like the details that they may be paying attention to throughout the entire yeah. game. Yeah, but people talk about that the door be thing. Incredible. There was also a moment where like bullets are spraying through the uh, windshield. a windshield, and it's like fracturing in a realistic mm -hmm. way. Instead of just like like pasting over and over the same like artwork of like a bullet hole in a window. Yeah. Or whatever. Right. But at the same time, there were things in that Watch Dogs 2012 demo that did not come to fruition. When you go back sure. and watch it now, he hits the slow motion and you can see individual raindrops falling and everything. Yeah. And he's like yanking people out of cars. It's like, no, nah, none of that is in the game. No. It was all, it was ambitious, but probably just like a, uh, what, a, a, what's that called? Whatever they're aiming for, you know? Like, mm -hmm. um, I feel like Ubisoft's gonna have a really good lineup this year. Uh, mm. Far Cry 4 is another one that I'm really, really excited to see. Me too. Um, Far Cry 3 was one of the- I love Far Cry so much. my top five games of all time, I think. Yeah. I would really like to play it, and if it, if it feels as open as Far Cry 3, then yeah. done. The story can be as as throwaway as I kind of felt like yeah. it was in the third one. Yeah. As long as it's fun, as long as there's still outposts to clear, I'll, yeah. be, I'll be satisfied. That's all I care about, too. What about Nintendo? Anything, uh, what's I mean, I mean, really relying on Nintendo to like, I don't know, announce just, Maybe not to anything. surprise you. Uh, I mean, well, let's see. There's, there are all the rumors swirling that they're gonna do a Zelda. It feels like time in the Wii U's life for a Zelda. Um, but yeah. I, I, once again, it's one of those things where like, I can't help myself. I just want to get hands on Smash. Mm -hmm. I get hands on Smash. I yeah, and see, that's the one game I don't care about <laughs> maybe. at all. That could be one of the biggest lines actually at E3 if they have hands on. Yeah, a it might be faster to just go to a, a Best Buy in Los Angeles and play it at the event that they're having there yeah. than to wait in the E3 <laughs> line. But yeah, it's it. Should, let's see. Maybe maybe it won't. Maybe you're right. Maybe we go in with tampered expectations and get blown away because it's way more fun yeah. than yeah. expecting the world and getting under delivered on. That's yeah. true. Yeah, I need to get way less excited. Mm. I think. I need to get drunk. For E3? Yeah. Well, that's and just inevitable. in general. So E3 isn't just a space for big developers, it's also a place for small indie devs, many of whom are self-taught. And if you'd love to teach yourself some skills, check out lynda.com. Lynda is an online learning company with more than 77,000 video tutorials that teach software, creative, and business skills. You can learn anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace with courses in web design, 3D animation, programming, and many more with new courses being added every single week. Membership starts at just 25 bucks a month, but you can try Lynda for free for seven days and support Rev3 Games by signing up at lynda.com slash casual.